Greetings engineers, Brown here from Great B Gaming and we are now on episode 23 of Material Energy Natural Capital. Look at this thing, isn't this beautiful? The exact time it takes to cook an ingot is the exact time an item takes to go from our store back to it. So as you can see, as soon as they enter, the ingot is done and it gets pulled out. How cool is that? That is just beautiful. So, this episode, like we said, we're going to be having a look at our book here. I'm just going to pull out a couple of these items that we might need to buy stuff. We're going to take something and start building it. We're probably not going to have time to complete the whole build, but we'll at least start it. So, let's look at what has changed inside of this book since, what, Two months at least that we haven't looked in there so our 100% has gone down to 80% let's start with this one here uh, powerful armor completed 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 so okay so it's not these sometime I need four debit cards and a clock to get an endless essence yeah debit cards are pretty hard to get get I believe let me see here is it just a credit card oh okay so you know what guys let's just do it wow this is everything I have everything I have goes into these four debit cards you know what let's do it well we'll just get more okay I need a clock <laughs> whoops uh, do I have a clock on hand do I have clock generation automated? I, I'm pretty sure I don't. Okay, so you know what? We're just going to keep it for now and we'll be doing these because I believe this one, yeah, this one can be done every 15 days and it's just a clock and copper coins to get time essence. I'm not sure what these essences are actually for. Maybe now there's more of a use for it because they seem to be everywhere. This is an endless essence. This is a time essence. And, okay, whenever. Four tin coins and a clock again for four time essence. So we well, we probably should be automating clocks. Um, let's just look at what it takes to make a clock. What do I need? How hard is this? It's probably pretty easy, right? I think it's like a compass. Oh, not even. Wow. This is very, very easy to do. So we're just going to automate this right away. Um, do I have some crafting pipes? I have some crafting pipes right here. Standard pipes here. Basic. Do I have any basic pipes? I do not have any basic pipes, so we'll just grab... Nope, that's not what I want to do. So we'll grab four pieces of gold. Four piece. One piece of redstone. And... Let's grab a whole stack of these basic pipes because they are very useful. Okay, so while we're getting that, let's keep looking at the book here. Uh, what? Well, that's probably our 80% here, these two. Oh no, naturalism. So we need to unlock this. Six coins? Yeah, we're going to pay for that. Perfect, that one. Oh, key piece one. Okay, there's something else here. Key piece one is one time essence. Do I have a time essence on me? Mm, nope, I do not. Do I have a time essence in here? I do not have one either, so let's just get our gold. Do I have some workbenches? Yes, I do. We're just going to automate this clock, get our first time essence, and then figure out what we need to do. Okay, this one here, we're going to go in here. One, two, three, four. Is that really gold shears? Huh, that's weird. Uh, put this in the middle. Perfect. We now have a clock. Set this 
import. And we are done. Wow, we're getting really good at automating stuff, guys. Very, very nice. So we'll just get four clocks. That should be enough for now. So I might keep these cards for now. We'll do this one for sure. Four tin coins for four time essences. That's going to unlock us key piece one. So one probably means that there is a set. Uh, let's look. No, this is all done. Perfect. Capitalism. A um, couple of things have changed here. Uh, of course, the rewards have changed. And also, this 10k coolant here now gives two time essences. So I'm pretty sure they're used somewhere else. Uh, we'll see. Marketplace. So do I need time? Oh, there we go. Flawless greenhouse, I need two time essences. Bronze coin, aluminum. Yeah, so that, that's going to be something pretty sweet to get to later on. Now, is there anything else that requires it? I don't think so. Not much has changed in the marketplace, really, that I can see here. It's all pretty standard. Industrialization. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff down here that has changed now. Uh, these are probably pretty hard to do. We'll see about making these maybe later on. Looks pretty interesting, though. This will be a lot of fun to automate all of this stuff. Uh, progression? A lot of... Look, look at all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff that was added here. And here, the last part, it takes one time essence and you get key piece five. So one to five. So there's probably two, three, and four somewhere else that we'll have to find. One, two, three, four, five. So each of these probably have a key piece. We just need to find it. So probably when we complete one of these, uh, one of the key pieces will light up and then we'll be able to do it. We just got to complete some of these and then the, the quest will probably pop up. That's pretty cool. And it's probably the same for Marketplace and Industrialization. Sorry, There's probably somewhere that you can create you know, the, the special item that will give us that key piece. So B list, uh, again, key piece six with time essence. So we need to complete these and this one. So the flawless calculator to put it here. Pretty cool. So there, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do now. We already had a bunch of stuff to do and it, it just keeps pile. Oh, wow. Naturalism. Cookies. One time essence. Key piece seven. Perfect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to do all of these first, these, these, and then get this one. Wow, that is going to be a lot of work. Yeah, setting up farms and all that kind of stuff, that is going to be crazy stuff to do. So, we have a lot more episodes to get to. Let me just get some clocks here because we are on the clock. Let's just go over here. We're going to complete this one. Claim our four time essences. And we wanted to use this one to get, well, let's just get key piece one. Perfect. So, oh, really? So, we collect these pieces, we get the time essence, and then we create the key. What does it unlock? Oh, I am extremely curious now. <laughs> Uh, let, let's put this in our grab bag here put all this stuff back in and let's start automating stuff so let's go back to capitalism what do we want to automate here um, you know what guys we're gonna start over here uh, we've done creosote oil we're gonna go for railroad tracks um, I have plans for that and this gives a pretty good amount, you know, 10 coin plus 6 copper coins for 200 tracks. I think that's a pretty good ratio there. 
So we'll start with that. What do I need to make railroad tracks? Let's just look at that over here. Um, booster tracks. So we need standard rails and wooden rail bed to make 16. Okay, you know what? It's not a problem. Standard rail, what do I need? Okay, iron in a rolling machine gives us 8. Bronze in a rolling machine gives us 6. Wow, bronze is a lot harder to make than iron. That's a little bit weird. That's okay. Oh, jackpot, guys. Stealing it makes 16 rails. And we are producing a good amount of steel. So I need a rolling machine. So could I please have a rolling machine? I do believe we have automated those. Yes, we did. Perfect. Do we have any space over here? We'll just make some. Perfect. So you guys can see here, I've made plugs. Uh, what plugs do is they allow power not to feed back in on itself. So if you look over here, I've put plugs all around here because before you would see the power circle around here continuously. So now that there's plugs, when I use this thing, it is just a lot more efficient. Let me just grab some iron here. Actually, let's just grab a diamond or two and a gold piece or two. Perfect. Put these in and then tell the machine, oh, right. Sorry, I need this. And just tell the machine to make these. So you'll see now that the power is just flowing straight and it's a tin line. It is really all the power that this machine needs. Instead of pulling out a bunch of power and just circling around here. So it's just a lot better. Let's go over here. I should have my rolling machine. Yes, I do. So this is the... Oh, yeah, I can just do it here. Perfect. So what I want is I want to plug this so that they do not connect and feed back to themselves. Just put a plug over here. And now when I put my power, you will see here it does not connect to this side. So it's a straight line. Perfect. We'll put our rolling machine on top. And we will put our crafting logistics pipe. Uh, so what we do want is six pieces of steel. Pretty sure we have a couple hundred. Oh, well, we have over a thousand. Perfect. So we'll just grab six here. So rails will be done. What else do we need? A wooden rail bed, okay. So I need four wooden ties to make a rail bed. To make a wooden tie, oh, oh, this is gonna get interesting. So bucket of crude oil and slabs of wood. Okay. How are we gonna proceed with this? Okay, let's start with the wood. That's going to be the easiest part. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the best amount of wood that I have is spruce wood. So we're going to go with spruce wood slabs. So I'm going to grab three pieces of spruce wood. Or do I have do I have slabs in the crafting? Let's just go here. No, there's no crafting of slabs, so that's okay. We'll just do that. Uh, oh, great! We have our basic logistics pipes, spruce wood. Let's just go over here. Wow, we are we are really filling up this wall. Incredible. Okay. Put this in here, and one, two, three, perfect. We're gonna grab our crafting, put that here, right click, 
import and we are done with that just go over here one two three four five six right click import and we are done with rails so now we have slabs and we have rails we need the creosote oil how are we going to get a bucket of creosote oil directly to our crafting system there's a couple of ways to do this but i think it's time that we really upgrade our crafting process so so far we've been using these uh auto workbench they're pretty nice uh they're slow and there's no way to attach liquid to it um so we're gonna upgrade now we're gonna go with something called cyclic assemblers i do not have them in my system so we will need to start automating cyclic assemblers uh what do i need to do this that looks pretty easy a workbench and two electronic circuits i'm pretty sure we have electronic circuits craftable yes we do so we'll just grab two of those and have that process automated. Wow, that's pretty nice. I'm happy about that. It's going to be very easy. And what you need to do is you need to put in a blueprint inside of the cyclic assembler. So we're going to go with blueprints here. Uh, no, no, no. It's not blueprints. It's a schematic. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Schematic two pieces of a paper and a lapis so let's call these up two pieces of paper please and a piece of lapis cool so let's start with these over here so first of all uh you and you two first part is done cyclic assemblers done so while we do the other ones i'm just going to call up um you know what let's do four four cyclic assemblers it's going to be pretty good and now let's go do our schematics. Ah, uh, not you two. And you. Set you up. Wow, that's what, four or five things we've already automated today? We are cruising. Okay, perfect. Put all of this stuff in here. Do I have my cyclic assemblers? Come on. What step are you on? Okay, they're just making the assemblers, so perfect. Okay. So how do these guys work? Um, you know what? We're going to start getting our slabs. Through. We're going to get our schematic. Uh, what are we going to call four schematics? And do I have a bucket? I don't have a bucket, but I can make one. We're going to request a bucket here. I'm going to show you how these work. So we're going to start, uh, yeah, we're going to start a new line here. Plunk this stuff here. Uh, we're going to go like this. So we're going to go get our power here. Connect. So you can see here, the red it goes. That's because the power is getting fed back into itself. This is very, very bad. So you do not want something like this. So what you want to do is take a plug and just put it in between. Perfect. So you guys see here, 
now there's a perfect flowing line of power and we're not wasting power very very nice okay so now I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to go all the way over here up here perfect so I'm just going to set this up here and put this we're going to put this let's put it like here okay so cyclic assemblers are pretty different from what we've been using so far first of all they need power so you need to power these things and that's what I thought we had done. Let's go. Oh, there's literally no augmentations on a standard cyclic assembler. I forgot about that. So we're going to need to set up augmentations to tell this guy that you can reconfigure the sides automatically. Because right now, if I do this, you see, it's going to get power. The power gets connected to the front of it. It's, it's nice, but see here, this is going to work fine. But I ideally, I want to put power below it. But below it, right now, if I go over here, you'll see that it is used as an input valve. So since it's inputting items, it cannot input power. So this is a problem. So we need to make augments that we're going to put it here and make it so that we can reconfigure the sides easily. Uh, for this episode, though, we are not going to bother with that. Uh, we're just going to do something else. Okay, so what I want here... I want a crafting logistics pipe. Perfect. It is there. Uh, I also want my schematic. Just go get my schematic here. Perfect. I have my slabs. I have my schematic. Let's go get a bucket of creosote oil. So that we can fill up our machine with that product. So as you can see guys over here is I have increased the size of this thing because 4 million millibuckets was just too little. This stuff keeps producing more and more crucial oil. So it's pretty good that we're making tracks because we're going to start using all of this crucial oil that we've been making. Okay, bucket of crucial oil. Perfect. I could move the liquid bucket form, you know, have a crafting bucket supplier over there and to just move the bucket down here. But you know what? We already have a system to move fluids around. So it would be pretty dumb to do that. What we're actually going to be using is fluid supplier pipes. I do believe we have some in our system. I could do insertion pipes, which will force an insertion of fluid. Or I could do a supplier pipe, which will just take from a provider pipe the amount of fluid that we want. I, I just prefer supplier, but both would actually be good. Let's just wait for this item here. So this will actually replace our bucket of crucial oil. But I need it for my schematic. So let's go over here. Here. And you know what, guys? I really want to complete this today. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. This is just going to be temporary. What is this? No, I don't want this. This is just going to be temporary because I don't want to spend the episode you know, making the augments and stuff like that. So we're just going to move this here. You can see here, this is bad. This is very bad. 
We'll just put it like this here because I need this bottom supplier here. This bottom supplier is where we are going to be putting our fluids. I'm going to grab my basic pipe over here. Perfect. And I'm going to tell this guy, whoops, get back here. Okay. I'm going to tell this guy, I would like just five buckets. Uh, well, I don't know the speed. The, this thing can actually hold ten buckets. So you know what? We'll just go with ten buckets of chrysalis oil. Partial? Yes, please. Okay, so we should start seeing this machine fill up with cursor oil. Now if I go here, I can go to schematic, input what I need, one, two, three, and a bucket of cursor oil, put in my schematic, and the little check mark comes green. Accept it. Oh, I got my cursor oil. So now we have our cursor from our bucket, so it's going to use the cursor that's already there. What I need to do now is fill this thing with wooden slabs. So I can't just tell my crafter if you put in wooden slabs, it's going to work. Because orange pulls items out, blue puts items in. So I need to tell my crafting to put the wooden slabs on top here. If I just use the pipe controller, and put a sneaky upgrade top, it is not going to work because it's not the top of this block. It's actually the blue, so it's the top here that I need to fill. So how do you tell him to fill this item? Well, you need what is called a satellite pipe. A s okay, I do not have any of these, so we're going to start automating the production of satellite pipes. So you have it for fluids or for items. Very easy to do. Basic pipe with two pieces of redstone. It is very, very easy to do. So we'll just call up, you know, I'll call up a stack of redstone here because I'll need it for something else. And you know what? I already have redstone on me. So I'll just make one for me right now. Because all I need is one. But we're still going to set up our automated crafting here so that we can produce more. Right click here. Here, here. Basic logistics pipe. We just add in our, whoops, our crafting. And we are done with that. Perfect. So a satellite logistics pipe. Here's the way it works. I put it on top. I need to hook it up with a, whoops, come on, stop doing that. Hook it up with a basic pipe. It is now hooked up. And then I need to give it a number. So this guy is going to be number one. Because this is the only secondary input I have in my system. So let's say I had more than one item to fill in. I could put this one blue and then put in a second satellite if I wanted to. So here I'm going to tell him, I'm going to say, okay, satellite one two three and it's going to be satellite number one because that's all I have right now okay I need an item to tell him what's going to be the output so I'm going to put it here did you see the speed that this thing was created it is insanely fast okay it's going to be very very fast to produce whatever we need so I'm going to go over here right click and say yeah your output is going to be a wooden tie if all you put in in my satellite is three spruce wood slab and that's pretty much it since the system already has the creosote oil i don't need to bother with the bucket okay so it looks a little bit weird because we had to reroute the power up top here so that we could use the bottom and the top ideally I would just put it maybe on the side here so that we can just 
handle it from here, you know, and just have the power underground and not have it show. Well, I'll do that in between episodes, craft the upgrades and just put it there because, you know, it's just wasted time. I just don't want to bother you guys with that stuff. Okay, so this is how you create wooden ties. So if I go over here and I say tie, I would like one, two, three. I hope this works. I'm I'm going with the guessing game here. <laughs> I am not really sure. I have never done this. I've read about satellites. That's what I heard they do. And this is all I know right now. So you can see here, this is a crafting process. Purple means I'm crafting right now. Oh, oh, we have it, guys. It is working. So, are, are you... Ah, this is beautiful. Okay, perfect. I am so excited. I was... I was... 75% sure this was going to work. Not 100%, 75, which is still pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so wooden ties. Uh, we need four wooden ties. Just going to put it here. I'm going to have to move that torch now. So, four, one, two, three. Oh, what, is, what does two do? Stop doing that. Oh, okay. One for wooden, wooden post, really? Okay. Well, we'll see about those. So, wooden rail bed. Import. So, we now have a wooden rail bed. And we're going to leave that torch there for now. And we're going to tell him wooden rail bed plus. Uh, okay, we don't have any standard rails. Let's call up some standard rails because I did not think we would have this complete for this episode. But it looks like we do. So I'm very happy about that. We're going to have our tracks finished. That is very, very cool. So I think the more I'm playing this pack, the better I'm getting actually automating. Uh, I thought it was pretty good before I started playing this thing, but now I realize that I'm pretty bad, but I am getting a lot better at it. Come on, standard rails. Are they... Are they getting crafted? Oh, thank you very much, sir. Actually, I just needed one, but... Just more fun to have the actual count. One, two, three, four, sixteen tracks. Wow, perfect. So you know what, guys? Um, yeah, we're gonna go upstairs, and we're gonna automate the creation of tracks so that we always have a bunch of tracks on hand because it takes a while to create this stuff has to go through a couple of workbenches. I could have done everything with cyclic assemblers. Everything would be so much faster, but I don't need that maximum speed, you know? So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna say track. I'd like to have one track, please. You know, that that's a good start. And that should be pretty quick because we've already put in all the items it needs, so it doesn't need to create these guys, all it needs to do is to mix them up together, so you can see here that the items are getting sent to the crafting station, now they are in the crafting station, and we should see that little green dot leave as soon as it knows that it's finished crafting and it's sending the item. I really love this schematic how it works, so zero doesn't have any more to do, and you can see the item in real time how close it is to getting to you. It's like seeing Santa Claus, you know, on that big map where he's delivering presents. And here he is. Thank you very much. So we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna tell this guy. Uh, okay, this guy's full. We're gonna tell that guy. That guy's full. 
Okay, we have some space here. So, um, I'm just going to click like a madman here right now. And we're going to get, uh, I believe it's 200 for the book, right? So we're going to go overboard here. And we're going to do two full uh, 127. So that's going to be 254. Which is, yeah, four stacks. Almost four stacks. So that's pretty good. So that we can turn it easily. And also, if we need tracks for something, let's say we make a big project with tracks, we're going to have tracks that we can use it. Just going to keep right clicking here. Perfect. So, are we getting. Yes, we are getting tracks. This is really beautiful, guys. I am very happy. So, this has been episode 23 of Natural Capital. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe for more content. If you have suggestions, guys, on what you'd like to see me craft next, my goal might actually be to craft everything, but you know, that would take like a couple of hundred episodes. But ideally, you know, I've seen the key. I, I have to get that key now. I really have to get that key. So in between episodes, I'll look at where I can find all the key pieces and we'll see what we need to do to get that key as fast as possible. So guys, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next episode of Material Energy 2.0.